And flight, you can proceed with transmission of stored program command. Welcome. Coming up on T minus eight minutes, the orbiter test conductor has requested that Houston flight controllers send stored program commands, which are the final update on antenna management to the orbiter. This update ensures that the orbiter has the latest information to communicate with the different tracking stations during the mission. Pilot Henricks is now flipping switches in the orbiter's crew cabin to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses. T minus seven minutes, 32 seconds. The orbiter crew access arm will be retracted away from the vehicle to the launch configuration. This arm can be re-extended in just a At the T minus five minute mark, the orbiter's auxiliary power units will be started. This is a view from the camera inside the white room. This is on the orbiter access arm, which is being slowly moved away from the vehicle. It's going to be 5 No, Tina, you're going to see it streak through the sky, Tina. Didn't get off the ground yet. See the other pieces shooting off? Do you see the light there? That's the shuttle. You can't see that? No, dear. All we see is light. Up there. We missed the whole thing. You idiot. There it goes. See it? See that big light, bright light going up there? That's it. Wow. How about that? There it goes. You're looking in the wrong direction. I don't believe you. I told you directly over the shed.
altitude 349,000 feet, velocity 5,800 miles an hour, downrange from Kennedy Space Center, 178 nautical miles.